<laughs> Let's go, baby. Come on on. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Definitely want to start there with some gratitude, thanking the Lord for the blessings that we receive and thanking him for another beautiful day. So let's go, people. It's Transformation Thursday. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week, getting things done, really allowing yourself to get to versus have to, as we talked about yesterday. And I was listening to some Steve Harvey. For those who know Steve Harvey, man, his story is incredible. And where he's come and, and, and what he's become is, is incredible as well in his story. And so he started talking about how we have a habit of asking the Lord for things that we don't have room for. And he talked about a story of, uh, of this young lady who was, who was dating a, a married man. And she kept complaining that, um, you know, she didn't, she, she couldn't find, you know, Mr. Right. Right. But she kept dating this married man and she would sneak away and she would, you know, sit down with this gentleman every single week, you know, have dinner. And I guess the maitre d' of the, of the restaurant, you know, saw this going on, but you know, none of his business, but he made sure that the table was available every single week. And, um, you know, she kept dating this guy and kept going and kept going and kept going. So then, um, you know, one day she was, you know, she was talking to Steve and, and, and Steve said, Hey, listen, like, you know, wh why do you keep asking for Mr. Right? And you dating this married man. And, uh, she said, well, what do you mean? He goes, well, you know, we, we, we have to make sure we have room for what the blessing we're asking for. And we can't be doing dirt and, uh, and, and trying to get something good. Like you can't, you can't do both, right? You got to kind of let go of re reset to allow room for the newness to come in. So anyways, to make a long story short, she stopped seeing that guy and, um, a week later or so, the maitre d' uh, ended up seeing her out one time and said, hey, I haven't seen you in the restaurant much. And she goes, yeah, you know, I stopped dating that guy and, um, you know, I'm trying to get my life together. And so the maitre d' said, hey, listen, you know, I would love to, to sit down and have dinner with you because uh, I've been watching you, you know, for the last couple of years. And I kept asking myself, why are you dating this guy, you know, when you could do so much better for yourself? And she said, well, what do you mean? And he goes, you know, I've been waiting for you. I've been watching and uh, and waiting for you. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And every day I saw you, uh, you know, I would just think about the you know, opportunity. If it came, I would definitely ask you out. And so they ended up getting together and uh, ended up a year and a half later getting married. And uh, that man actually bought the restaurant. Matter of fact, bought three restaurants. And uh, because she was so good at what she does in finance, right? So she was a financial um, advisor and, you know, she was really good with money. So she helped him get his money right. And now they're making about $2 million a year, um, you know, in a, in, a, in, a, in a rightful or a righteous life. <clears throat> and so she had to let go of that baggage. She had to let go. And so that she can move forward. And, and it goes in so many things. You know, we, we, we hold on to baggage that we don't need to hold on to. And we think that, you know, we're going to have uh, something of missing or we're going to miss something if we let it go. Uh, but we, we keep asking for things to change. We have to become better at what it is that we're responsible for. And if we're not reliving a righteous life, if we're not doing things in the manner that's going to allow us to receive those blessings, then guess what? You can ask all you want. God's going to keep saying no, <laughs> not right now. And so look at that as a transformation opportunity for you to really look at your life and say, where in my life am I holding on to things that are taking up space where a bl my blessing will come if I let go of that and allow space? It's so, it's so important, guys. It's so important. Live your life in a righteous manner. Show up. And we're not asking, you know, we're not, we're not asking the Lord to be perfect because we know that's not, you know, that, that's not the thing. That's not it. It's really for us to be aware and mindful of everything that we do on a regular basis and, and, and asking the Lord to be able to, to have more confidence in ourselves, to believe more in the things that we have gifts and talents about, you know what I mean? Like our, our talents and skills and our, or whatever it is that we've been born to do, you know, we've had an inkling of it, right? It was, it was our desire as, as a child that really allows us to become more when we start to uh, nourish that, that gift. And so, guys, on this Transformation Thursday, I love you guys. That video really hit hard for me because so I wanted to make sure I spoke out to you guys about that. You know, is that you got to leave, you got to make room, make room for your blessing, make room for the things that are coming to you, but they don't have room, so they can't. <laughs> okay? So let go and let God. Let's have a great day, guys, and let's finish this week strong. God bless y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.